We purchased this house to be our forever home, basically. We want to raise our family there. With their family growing and both parents working from home, Yasser and Rabia craved more space. Bidding wars made purchasing a suitable home a challenge, so they chose a pre-construction home, purchased from Madame Homes in March 2022 at the peak of the housing frenzy. Set for completion this year, it's time to figure out financing, and they face a major hurdle. There's literally one a few doors down from us, but with all the upgrades, it's also selling for you know half a million less. Significantly lower than their $1.9 million purchase price. They worry the bank will appraise the property at a lower price, leaving them to come up with a difference between what they're able to borrow and what they agreed to pay Madame. A dream home has turned into what they call a nightmare situation. Dozens of buyers reeling from Madame's price reductions, a market that has cooled significantly and higher interest rates staged a protest last weekend. Madame tells Global News that it sells through all market cycles and sells homes at prices that reflect the market at that time. It says if it can assist buyers within the contractual boundaries of the agreement of purchase and sale, it may explore that with individual buyers. This real estate analyst says it's bad timing with painful financial consequences. He's seen market shocks, expected and unexpected, happen before. I mean, we saw this exact scenario uh, play out in 2017 in the greater Toronto area when, when prices fell rapidly. He's hopeful households can find a way to avoid a costly and complicated default. But he wants future buyers to exercise caution before buying pre-construction when market mania hits. When you see this massive exuberance and crazy house prices and tons, those are the periods when people should be fearful. And that's when, you know, unfortunately, people kind of get excited and greedy and just want to buy a home. For Yasser and Rabia, the waiting game is a big source of stress. In order to bridge that gap, uh, we have to come up with 400 to 500 K more to be able to close our house. And we are just worried that if we can't come up with that much money, we might end up losing our house and with all the life savings with it. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.